Hello, beloved family. So, I'm coming on here to do, do a quick video to um, let everyone know that I'm going to take the videos down that I put up yesterday. So, if any of you didn't watch all of them and you're going to look for them, then... Um, and the only reason I'm going to take them down is because... Um, there were some things, some comments made about Jonathan Kahn that I was unaware of in regards to him. And so I don't want to uh, recommend people listen to him if there's anything that we need to use discernment uh, against. So, um, uh, also, um, you know, I just wanted to say that I'm, I'm not categorically saying that Yeshua was born in the spring because I don't know. Um, I would like to hold to the first day of tabernacles, uh, theory. And, um, I, I merely saw a, a connection from the verses in first Kings and Second Chronicles that I, um, showed in the videos. So, um, just citing it as a possibility. Um, but it doesn't mean that he was born in the spring. I would like to think that he was born, like I said, on the first day of Tabernacles. And, perhaps the Tishri 8 to Tishri 15 that he showed me was to point to, um, you know, the time frame matching to Hanukkah. And I guess one reason why, why I felt led to um, consider the 30-day jump for the month of Kislev is because Hanukkah on the calendar has come and gone on the calendar that we were looking at has come and gone and um, so I figured well maybe there's something else we need to look at and my my hope is when I put videos up especially now is to encourage that's my main to encourage and if by chance someone learns something new from the word that's my only main focus um, not to set dates for the rapture and the only reason I cover them is because um, here lately the, the you know the Feast of Tabernacles and then Hanukkah they're they're on a calendar so they have to do with dates so that's why I have been pointing to dates um, but like I said my main goal is to keep the body of Christ encouraged to keep her looking forward to keep her her lamp lit, which I know is, you know, is not just based on encouragement, it's based on your faith, but sometimes people can start to lose faith if they lose encouragement. But it's, the Father's will is to um, bless you all. And if somehow, even if it's a small way, I can achieve that, then all glory to Him not me because I'm not doing this for myself and I'm you know I'm not doing it for subscribers I'm not doing it for um, notoriety but I am grateful and blessed that so many people have come to this channel because you all are my family and it makes it blesses my heart to have all of you here with me because before I was pretty much alone. So, um, so forgive me for those who, um, who mentioned that Jonathan Kahn is, um, uh, someone that we may need to, um, use discernment for. And, um, I don't know for sure if we are 30 days ahead. So please keep in mind that whenever I say anything in my videos, it's it's speculation. 
I will never come on here and say, you know, what that what I point to is fact and that it's going to happen because I don't know that. Um, I just go with my human understanding with things that I see in scripture and when a time frame we are, we're all watching for, which has happened in the past, um, many times, comes and goes, then I, my goal is to keep everyone encouraged, and so I start to look for an alternate, um, time frame to watch for. So, I pray that we are in the month of Tibet still, and that we are going at any time, preferably before the first week of January. Um, but I put out the videos yesterday just as a just in case. Um, because I also have read comments where some are saying that a lot of watchmen are not putting up videos anymore. And for those who don't do videos and um, may not have a chance to study the word as extensively as others do because of, you know, their life. You know, there are people who have children that they have to, to care for and, and, you know, guide. And there are people who have husbands and wives that they have to do things with there are people who have you know just life stuff and I think the reason he chose me and he shows me chose me to bless you all here on this channel <laughs> um him him bless you not me is because I don't have um a lot of those things so I have more time to study Granted, I do have plenty to fill my plate with. I do work still, and I volunteer, and um, I have to help my mom take care of things um, because she's caring for my father who's disabled, and so I have to help her keep the house up and things like that. So um, it's not like I have loads of free time, but I probably have more than some if not most so anyway um like i said my goal is to to keep everyone encouraged and um i pray that we don't have to wait till january that we're going very very soon because honestly um he, we might only be waiting on no no prophecy or anything like that but we might only be waiting on that one last soul that he knows is going to turn to him before the appointed time happens and there is an appointed time so um we could go at, you know like he says on the day we think not um but he wants us to watch the feast because it, it keeps us in the ready and um, I've been watching, looking at, at time frames, dates on the calendar for a long time without putting them in videos because every single one of the feast days are um, a possible time of departure. If you study them extensively, every single one of them points to a possible rapture time frame just because of the history behind them, the content that's within them, and things like that. So, and, and I think he did that on purpose so that we would, we would keep watching and keep going forward because if we didn't have, um, you know, these time frames to look forward to when they are approaching, in our humanness, we would, you know, um, many possibly would just give up because, you know, what would we have to look forward to if he didn't give us all the meanings behind the feasts and how they point to certain things. So, 
Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to take those videos down because, um, be just because of Jonathan Kahn being in there and, and just in case there's anything we shouldn't listen to from him, then I don't want it to be up there and, and people go looking in places that they need not. And always please use discernment with anything I say or any other watchman. Um, right now, you know, the deception is high out there, so it's it's difficult to uh, know for sure unless you do pray about it and use discernment. And, um, and I did pray before I put the videos up. I just probably, I guess I should have waited a little longer to receive uh, a clear yes or no. And... You know, just like with the other videos that I took down that I, I'm still possibly going to put back up. Um, you know, there, maybe the father wants me to make a mistake in regards to pointing to something to bring it to people's attention. To expose it for what it is. I don't know. So, um... So, yeah, so that's why I'm going to take those down. Um... For people who would like to, I, I tried to leave a link for the video that I mentioned. Um, our, our brother Chris in Canada, who's a Bible code researcher, his I tried to grab the link, and I don't know if it's because I don't have updates on my laptop, but um, whenever I try to grab a link to post it somewhere, anywhere, it, YouTube won't let me do it. Instead, it says you can make a post, but you can't put it on your your channel site. So, um, and then I've done that, and I don't know where the post goes. So, I'm definitely being censored. But, um, anyway, his channel name is Bible Code Theory Research. And the name of the video is, I think it was Third Temple... I left the description of the, the video. Sorry, I'm trying to find it. Hang on. Okay, so here's here's the video that I was uh, talking about, and this is his channel. Um, he doesn't put up videos very often, just once every month or two or something like that. Uh, I did notice he, just, he did put another one up after this. Um, but... Uh, he, I do know, is okay. I've been watching him for a long time, so he's okay. Um, he may not believe in a pre-trib rapture, but that's okay, too. Just because brothers and sisters don't believe that, it shouldn't divide us, because um, the Father may have a reason for them not seeing that. Maybe they're part of the group that's supposed to be here, and they just don't know it yet. Um, so, anyway... Uh, that's what I wanted to say, guys. So, um, Yeshua still could have been born on the Feast Day of Tabernacles. Um, anything I say is just something I consider. It's, it doesn't mean that it's, it's 100% correct. And the only reason I mentioned him being born in the spring was because it was mirroring the week before Tabernacles. Um, which was tying to Hanukkah. So, um, but like I said, I'd like to stick with um, the first week of, of not the first week, the, um, the Feast of Tabernacles. And I'm not flip flopping back and forth. I'm I'm only pointing to different options just to keep us going forward because as long as we're watching that's the main po focus right now it, when he was born is is to to us watching is irrelevant so anyway that's what i wanted to say so i i'm sorry that if i'm confusing anyone that's not my goal um i just want to keep us going forward watching so um, I pray we're out of here before Christmas, to be honest with you. So, with that being said, I love you guys. I pray you have a blessed day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. And uh, we're going home soon. I promise you that. We're in the season. So, I love you guys. Shalom.